going to very briefly mention several of the fast math packages and then present a couple of slides on a couple packages where the um, developers were not able to present uh, today. So overall, we can think of uh, the solver packages in fast math as, as being a layered hierarchy of, of solvers, going from linear solvers, nonlinear solvers, and ODE integrators layered on top of each other. So in general, when one is using the ODE integrators, one wants to use fast math linear solvers underneath, though, of course, that's not always required. Uh, in addition, there's some um, eigenvalue solvers, which again use the linear solvers in many of the algorithms that are implemented. So the um, packages that we're going to discuss appear to be the following up here. Um, Hyper, and Rob will talk about that this afternoon. Parpack, I'm going to present a couple of slides on that in a minute. Petsy, again, I'll present some more material on it. Sundials, which is a, a very uh, innovative a long-term uh, package out of um, uh, Lawrence Livermore uh, for solving ODEs and DAEs. And uh, there'll be a presentation later about that. And then SuperLU, which is a direct, sparse direct solver package with a couple of different solvers for parallel and, and sequential. Um, and Sherry will talk about that this afternoon. And then uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Trellinos, which is a very comprehensive package that does almost everything. We're just talking about a couple of particular aspects in our presentation today. So let's get started with the uh, individual packages. PARPAC is an uh, evolution of the RPAC package uh, developed originally by uh, Danny Sorensen um, that computes eigenvalues for sparse, generally sparse, um, sparse matrices. And generally, it's designed to compute a, a small number of eigenvalues or selected regions of eigenvalues. It's not something that you would use to compute all eigenvalues. When you want to compute all eigenvalues, generally, you have to use the um, dense eigenvalue solvers that are in, for example, uh, LAPAC. So PARPAC can compute uh, various pairs for both Hermitian and non-Hermitian matrices, um, both the standard and generalized eigenvalues. So that means AX equals um, lambda X and AX equals lambda bx. And you can select which eigenvalues in the, in the range that you want to, uh, that you want to compute with. Uh, parpac has been used for, uh, it, it also includes more recently a um, couple of uh, new algorithms here. I'm not going to talk about these. This is just material that you'll see in the, in the slide deck uh, for later. So Trellinos is, uh, as I mentioned before, a very large package that does almost anything needed in terms of solvers that's developed at um, Sandia National Laboratory. It's very comprehensive. In particular, it has uh, two pieces that are part of the fast math project. One is uh, ML, which has a new version called MULU, which are algebraic multigrid uh, methods based on aggregation. So algebraic multigrid, um, you'll learn quite a bit about uh, algebraic multigrid this afternoon in Rob's talk, so I won't talk about the details of, of how it's done, but uh, ML and now MULU have, uh, have a lot of very nice algorithms in, in them for um, solving non-trivial problems with, uh, with algebraic multigrid. It's been used in a variety of problems like uh, magno, magnetohydrodynamics and fluid dynamics and so forth. And MULU, which is the newer version, is not only a solver package, it's also um, an attempt to provide a package where you can add your own algorithms. So you can put new pieces in, modify the algorithms that are already there. So it's supposed to be extensible in that way, much more so than the original ML, which is not really extensible. Uh, Trellinos also has a, a nonlinear solver capability called NOx which is based on using Newton, Newton's method. It can use any of the Trellinos linear solvers, and in fact, it can use a lot of other linear solvers as well, such as the SuperLU, some of the linear solvers from, from Petsy as well. And it has a, a variety of um, globalization methods, including line searches and so forth. 
And when I talk about Petsy a little later, I'll talk a bit more about the algorithmic infrastructure that these things are built on. And Knox, of course, has been used on uh, many, many problems. And here there's a, a simple graph showing different convergence based on using, uh, for example, regular Newton, which just fails, while using a backtracking Newton, which is the, the green line there, does converge, but using uh, various homotopy methods that come with the, uh, with the algorithms and the software, you can get much faster convergence than that for very difficult problems. And as I mentioned before, Knox and ML are part of Trellinos, which is a very large software package, which has a um, variety of linear solvers, iterative solvers, direct solvers, algebraic multigrid, and um, support for calling other packages like SuperLU. It's also got some interesting um, features such as built-in sensitivity analysis and stability analysis and optimization algorithms that can use the other parts of the package. And it's also got some UQ capabilities built into the package. So if you want to get kind of all these pieces all together, uh, Trellinos is a good place to find them all. Tau is another package that's um, developed at Argon. It stands for the Toolkit for Advanced Optimization. It's a, a package for doing scalable optimization of um, very large, very large problems generally. It's designed for large problems with a variety of different types of constraints. It has uh, algorithms for equality constraints and algorithms for a variety of inequality constraints. For example, in this case, it just shows um, bound constraints. But there's also a variety of other, of other types of constraints it can also handle. And it's got a large suite of algorithms, including Newton's method. In Newton's method, as you hopefully know, for optimization, you need to provide a function evaluation, you need to provide a gradient evaluation, and you need to provide a Hessian evaluation or an approximation to the Hessian evaluation. Quasi-Newton methods are methods where you only have to provide the function evaluation and the gradient evaluation while the quasi-Newton algorithm generates as part of its computation some approximations for the Hessian that it uses to get an algorithm that's close to Newton-type convergence but not, type, not exactly Newton-type convergence. And of course, they have things like a uh, conjugate gradient methods, and they even have uh, some derivative-free algorithms. So if you have a simulation that, for example, takes 10 hours to run just to get your function evaluation, it's not realistic to think about getting um, derivative information, gradient information, because that would require much longer runs. So there are some recently developed algorithms that um, can do quite well for large problems that are derivative-free, that are also in tau. So here's a sort of catalog of what's available in Tau. You can look at it later, see if there's uh, algorithms for what your needs are. Now, I'm going to talk for the rest of the time about the Petsy package. Tau is, in some sense, part of Petsy, or you can think of it as being layered on top of Petsy, but it uses all the same design and expressiveness of Petsy. So once you know Petsy and how to use Petsy to solve problems, you essentially know how to use Tau to solve problems as well.